We're also working the latest developments in this week's deadly Navy Yard shooting. As we continue to learn more about the gunman's connections to southern New England, the FBI is releasing new details about the tragic shooting spree that left 13 dead, including the shooter. And during a briefing this afternoon, the head of the FBI revealed that former Navy reservist Aaron Alexis did not appear to target anyone in particular during Monday's rampage. The investigation shows he just walked quietly through the hallway with a sawed-off shotgun looking for people to shoot. Meanwhile, workers returning to the Washington Navy Yard today for the first time since the deadly shootings. A Navy spokesperson says it was a regular work day, except at the building where the shootings occurred and the base gym, which is being used as a staging area for investigations. And tonight we're learning more about the gunman's recent visit to a local Buddhist temple where Alexis asked to spend the night to escape the noises in his head. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now from Raynham with local coverage. This Thai Buddhist center, known for peace and prayer, now connected with the alleged Washington Navy Yard shooter. I spoke with temple members who confirmed the disturbing visit details. Tani Nasapengtong has cooked for the monks at the NMA Meditation Center for about five years. She says the center is always open to those in need, whether you're a Buddhist or not. Anyone can come here, anyone. American, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever. Oh, they don't care. Anyone come, can come here. But Nasapengtong and others were surprised to hear that a man accused of shooting and killing 12 people in Washington, D.C. earlier this week had stayed at the center recently. Temple member Eng Tan confirms that the alleged shooter, 34-year-old Aaron Alexa, Texas, came to the center in August while working as a defense contractor in Rhode Island. Tan didn't meet Alexis, but he was told by the monks that he spoke fluent Thai and seemed peaceful. Alexis told the monks he was looking for a place to stay overnight. Nasa Pengtong says the school next door is provided as an overnight shelter for visitors. They're helping you to sleep. They have the school over there. They're helping you when you're looking for some place to sleep. They're helping you. The reason for the one-night visit? Tan says Alexis told monks he was hearing voices in his Newport hotel room and wanted an escape. Police believe Alexis was suffering from severe mental issues, including paranoia and sleep disorders. I'm told the monks passed all the information of the visit on to Raynham Police. Raynham Police tell me that they are deferring to the FBI. With Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.